agriculture and we see that is a field with where you have to grow short of growing poppy or charas you can grow anything there and make it economically productive that is a field for posterity it does not change so even if it is some chap from london or delhi or bangkok or wherever the hell if he is bought that field he will not get the permission to convert that field and put up sqc to structure that is the thing because otherwise it gets into a battle of communities and politicians love that is part of them so if you are strict with your land use if you can put up in this village this height that's it you cannot go above that but if you have a corrupt government you have a corrupt panchayat you have a corrupt system there then that is where your conflict arises and then they love to pit goan versus non goan and somebody else versus somebody else and that's where your problem is so what we need is strict land use policy i'm not saying that you completely destroy the economics of goa or the economics of real estate in goa certainly not housing is a, is a requirement but there has to be data and then the housing has to come into play you just don't build houses and build these giant structures in the middle of nowhere plonk it in the village of of some small houses and then change the demographics of the area simply because it has to benefit the builder and the politician concerned so if you are strict with your land use it will not encourage them to buy land because why are they going to spend land to do this and buy this to buy the field they have to price it down and then we we'll have to come up with our modalities we we'll have to come up with our modalities by which we want to go to the right time but if we declare a single set of zones there is a certain amount of moral loss to that we are hearing that we want to have a certain kind of moral how shall i say that there is a given example of kazan land in the building something or you are building a hill when you are not about to build something that is remunerated loss to you your family your generation if we are going to keep it green right so i would propose so i would think that then everybody can say you put in some kind of an environment tax if we can have swachh bharat tax if there are swachh any any law right we can have some kind of beti padao tax and beti is not being padao we might even well have an environment tax and all this environment tax and everything is product in goa and from that fund you pay the family loans that hill a certain amount of money per year to keep that hill green we have to put money into the environment we cannot use moral science lectures to protect the environment we can ask all these bookless corporates to buy out the corporation they will be pretty happy if they are happy party they make their business honestly they don't go to jail they should be happy that our party goes to power because they will be saving so much of money not getting into all these charts to come to their own election time no so we might as well tell them all that you have to do is give those clothes and protect this hill this hill is protected by this mine that that water body is protected by another corporate firm some other environment asset is protected by another whatever let them what we should do i think instead of condemning all of the sharks who have destroyed the world let us see whether we can reform the truth take money out of it grab it money out of it let it go to the but use it for the correct purpose but we will not go down the path of saying go or not go like go to this is this battle has to be about go and anti go the one who is anti go even at that time that has to be going to go and most of the time the guys who are going to go are going to go